What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I am bringing you week 7 of the YouTube Online Dynasty with the UCLA Bruins. As you guys see, we are still 5-1, and one, and last week we went ahead and defeated Cal, I think 42-15, to 15, uh, which was up against Wild Child. Uh, and this is just the, we the weekly recap of everything that's going on. This week we're going up against Utah, and you're going to see our standings in just a second after this screen passes. So we are in first place in the Pac-12, tied with USC, tied with Oregon, if you guys know that is Smalls and Lumberjack. Um, so I'm thinking they're going to go undefeated until they hit a user game and somehow manage to lose. Uh, and you saw, I think we were ranked, what, 39th in the nation? Uh, so we're about 14 spots away from being in the top 25. So if we continue to win, uh, maybe we'll crack it by the end of uh, maybe week 10, maybe week 11, we'll crack the top 25. Um, and this is uh, the last game I've played. I think next week I have a bye, which I'm not sure what to show you for that. For, show you guys for that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I might just show you a little bit of a recap on the recruiting. And I think almost everyone is still pretty active in the league. There might be just a couple of people uh, that have lost interest or just are really, really slow with doing their games, um, which means I don't even know if they're still interested. Um, but anyways. Uh, you guys don't really have to worry about this league ever stopping because I've said multiple times, uh, maybe not to you guys, but to myself, that even if there's like two people, even if it's just me, I'm still continuing this because I want to do a UCLA dynasty and I'm planning on doing a couple years of this, three, four, maybe five. Um, I'll probably be focus on, focusing on the Madden one a bit more uh, if this one ever decides to slow down. Um, even so, the Madden one I can get through quicker because um, it's just me. I don't have to wait on all the other 11 users. But as you can see, we uh, started off the game with a touchdown, and Utah is going to get their touchdown here to match a 7-7. Don't know how he got opened. Uh, and yes, I'm showing the kickoff return, which means only one thing. Actually, it can mean two things, either a fumble or a touchdown. Actually, maybe three, maybe a, maybe a huge gain. But as you can see, Shaquille Evans, who missed... Most of last game is going to return this one for a touchdown to bring us up 14 to 7 over Utah. And I'm trying to think real quick what their team name is. I just want to say it's the Utah Utes, which is probably their team name. Um, and you're going to see Matthews gets the reception over the middle to the 40 yard line. Uh, so Utah is trying to come back with a touchdown, come back with some points. John White, I want to, I want to say his first name is John. John White gets a carry there, and this is just a horrible field goal attempt too far out and way to the left uh, so we get the ball back with good field position and I'm going to go ahead and hit Jerry Rice Jr. there he's gonna pick up six yards but we're not going to get the first down so Utah's back on the ball two minutes left in the half uh, win uh, oh, I've already forgotten his last name I want to say it's Jordan win but it's probably not uh, it'll show up on the screen eventually when I show it in the fourth quarter so that'll be a little reminder but that's a little too late so we do stop them on third down Jonathan Franklin here on the draw play and Jonathan Franklin on our offensive line it just seems to be pretty beast and look at the scramble here by Brett Hundley this is why I like to start him he's a bit more mobile uh, than Kevin Prince so it helps us out when uh, whenever we have no one that's open or uh, opening on the offensive line a gap in the uh, the trenches, I guess you should say, should say. And Jonathan Franklin gets another nine-yard carry there on the left-hand side. We're going to hand it off here. And over the middle, he's going to pick up uh, quite a few yards. I don't know how he got that far without getting tackled. Uh, but with 13 seconds left in the half, we're going to go ahead, go for a passing play on third down, hit Jonathan Franklin. He can't pull it in, and we're going to have to settle for a field goal. To bring us up 17-7 to end the half, and nothing really happened in that extra, what, 10, 7 seconds that we had. Uh, so here on third down... John White is going to get the screen pass there, and I, I hate the screen passes. I feel like I say this every time a screen pass happens uh, whenever I play a game. I, I just never expect it. Like, I'll be man-to-man, -man, uh, and then the next play, they'll do the screen pass when I'm in zone, and it's just really frustrating. But Matthews makes the good reception there. I think, was that on fourth? No, no, that wasn't on fourth down. Uh, that was on third down. He doesn't convert there. And we get the ball back. This is after a holding call. Jonathan, Jonathan Franklin gets the first down. Ten or, wow, not the first down. I'm like uh, just everywhere right now. He gets a 10-yard carry, uh, and we don't convert on third. And now Utah gets a good first down there. Good reception over the left-hand side of the field. 
A bit of a play action here going to the right hand side to Scott who's going to come up just inches short of the first down marker. Uh, we'll see if they can make the first down there. They're going to throw this one on the left hand side to Christopher. He's going to reel this one in for a first down. So 40 second, 46 seconds left in the third. Rogers getting the reception here, getting stopped a yard short of the first down marker. Third and two, wind dropping back. He's going to the left hand side and this one that could have been a pick six but I think that Sermons dropped it. So they're going for it on fourth and two instead of kicking a field goal. Not sure why and not sure how Fitzgerald got wide open there in the corner of the end zone. That one would count. They reviewed it and it would count. Uh, so we are only up by three at this point. Jonathan Franklin getting the reception there for about ten yards. Uh, slowly working the clock down trying to make our way down the field. I eat up as much time as possible even though I'm not hiking the ball. Uh, with only a second on the play clock because I just want to be safe. I don't want to be left with absolutely no time left in the game uh, if Utah decides to score. So a nice diving catch there by Jerry Rice Jr. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead to the wide receiver mid-screen, but we are going to get sacked. Third and 13, we're just going to hand it off to Jonathan Franklin on the draw play. Didn't want to risk a turnover, uh, so we're going to actually have to settle for a field goal here with 3.08 left in the game. And we're up 20 to 14. So all Utah need is, uh, all they need is a touchdown. And uh, they're going to hit the tight end there. Moai, Moai, and yes, Jordan wins. So I guess I was right. 20 of 30 on the day. Pretty nice. John, or John White, I should say. Uh, nine yard carry there. Two minutes left in the game, 204. John White's getting the carry. And he's going to get stopped short there, fourth and two. Uh, and they're going to go for another run here. We're going to stop him again. So we'll get the ball back. Up by six, 136 left in the game. Utah has two timeouts left. Jonathan Franklin's going to pick up a first down with only one timeout left. All we got to do is run down the clock. Uh, so we're going to make them use the last timeout here. And uh, don't ask why. Uh, you'll see in a second after this play, Jonathan Franklin gets seven yards there. Don't ask why I wasn't running the clock down. As you guys can see, the play clock is still in the, like the 20s, uh, low 20s. I think what I wanted to do was score another touchdown and get more yards with Jonathan Franklin uh, because I do want to make a push for Heisman with him. I don't think it's going to happen because he had uh, his first couple games he didn't do so well, but he does find the end zone here for a second touchdown on the day. But I think I'm trying to get him to win Heisman. And look at this squib kick. I don't know what the returner was thinking, but that pins them on the 10-yard line. We do get a sack here, and I was like, hey, if we can get a safety, that would be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice. Uh, but it doesn't happen, and John White shuts off a tackle, and that's going to end the game. So we win 27-14 to over Utah to go up 6-1 and now on the season. Yeah. Uh, so next week is a bye, like I said. Not sure what I'm going to be showing you. Maybe just some of the, of the recruiting, some of the commits. Uh, it's probably going to be a really short video. Um, but Jonathan Franklin, 22 carries, 150 yards, and I believe that said two touchdowns. Uh, so another great win for us. Utah is actually a good team and a Pac-12 team. Uh, so they fall to four and one, and we go up to, well, no, they fall to four and two, and we go up to six and one. Uh, they don't show it on this screen because it doesn't happen, and not a single turnover by each team or both teams. Uh, so that's pretty good. Hundley was only nine of fifteen for seventy-six yards, but Jonathan Franklin put the team on his back, uh, so that is the reason we won. Utah's quarterback did pretty good: two touchdowns, no interceptions. Jonathan Franklin, one hundred fifty yards rushing. And now you're going to see the receiving stats, nothing really from us. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching, and tune in next time.